Hi everybody, this is uh, Rich, uh, Richie's Astro UK. Um, this represents my first video on um, on YouTube um, and um, my first video being an unboxing of the Skywatcher 150 Quattro, which is uh, imaging Newtonian from First Light Optics. Um, first class service from First Light Optics as, as, as usual. Their um, their uh, after sale service is marvelous as well, but uh, what this, this literally this one to two days dispatch working days and it was dispatched one day after order, and uh, arrived the next day. So absolutely superb. Um, so this is my uh, my first unboxing. Here it is, as usual in the UK. Um, we have clouds. Uh, so this is uh, February twenty twenty four. And um, uh, as any um, astrophotographer and astronomer in the UK will vouch, clouds are part and parcel of the uh, the whole deal in the UK. I'm sure the other parts of the country are just as bad, um, but um, we're uh, going through a particularly bad spell at the moment. And uh, I've only had one decent night's imaging. Um, since I came back off my holiday to Cape Verde, which was uh, my 60th celebration. Um, and uh, I'm still processing that one actually, because I've been a bit a bit slack, um, which uh, potentially is my, my best uh, capture of the Orion Nebula. But anyway, back to what we've got today. This is the Skywatcher Quattro and is ooh, my first unboxing video. Right, if you can see all that, that's fine. So, as is always the case, we have a first class set of um, packaging. Um, that'll be the, I'm not quite sure what that is actually. So, we have one box and Another one, we'll go through these. Oh, that's the coma corrector. So this is the, uh, the 150 Quattro uh, supplied with the Atlantic um, focal reducer and coma corrector as standard. Um, now these on their own uh, are like uh, uh, circa 200 pounds. So this is a really good deal. Um, and for uh, imaging Newtonian to come with this is, is, is brilliant. So we'll open those in a second. First things first, we'll get to the the main show. And this is 150p Antonio. So let's put me put those back there. There we go. So that's it. It's a little bit off. It's an F4, and I think with the focal reducer, it comes down to F3.8 something. Um, but I'll um, I'll put a caption of exactly what it is um, uh, down below afterwards. I'm not sure what that is. It's not one of those. Pass. There we go. I'm not sure what that is. So something extra maybe. Bizarre for that. Now I was listening to um, um, the Lazy Geek um, talk about this, and he was saying that the um, the the focuser um, on on his 150 Quattro was um rubbish basically so i don't know and he he suspected that the the focuses were supplied differently through different countries um so whether we in the uk get a decent focuser or not i have no idea um um i'm nowhere near as experienced as him so the possibility is i'll never know if it's particularly a bad one or not or at least not for a while 
um, and I'm not going to upgrade it at, at, at any time soon. So it soothes the rustle off. Then we have the Skywatcher 150p Quattro. Is that okay? There we go. So, so this has usual. Cover. Now, I've, I've seen a lot of people making various uh, adaptations to this with regards to the the the, the spider veins, and you have a you can get it. There's a, there's one from Backyard um, something or other. I can't remember now. I'll put that down that link down below um, for an upgraded spider secondary mirror holder. There's the mirror. Very difficult to focus on the on the mirror, but there you go. So it comes with a Skywatcher dovetail bar. Um, I don't know whether this is going to be long enough for me to achieve balance. I have a longer one, which hopefully will fit. Um, failing that, I'll have to buy a longer one because um, my my imaging um, rig. Uh, will be this mounted onto a uh, Celestron AVX mount um, guiding with a 120mm mini um, and SV Boney guide scope um, all linked to my laptop, laptop at the moment and my imaging is with a Canon 700D um, camera uh, which um, because this is a photo Newtonian I can connect that directly to the focuser um, which gives me um, prime focus and um, something I'm really looking forward to trying because every every other option I've had previously has been some kind of compromise somewhere and with a coma corrector as well this will give me a very good um, very good imaging rig just put the cover back on so we have a, um, a two inch focuser dual speed Crayford which feels very nice this is definitely better than uh, than the, the what I thought it was um, this uh, this this works by as opposed to the rack and pinion ones this works by friction between the surface of the um, the the rotator here and the draw tube uh, as opposed to rack and pinion which is as it states rack and pinion so and we've got dual speed here for very fine adjustments and in the focus i already have a um a, a bartonov mask for a 150 um i bought one uh, a 150 750 old uh, sky watcher which i've been using but it's got a really really crappy focuser on it uh, just a one and a quarter inch so that's been a bit uh, a bit of a, a challenge um, getting focus, holding focus. Um, so that's why I have this. I had a um, Skywatcher Classic 250 Dobsonian, um, but I live in a bottle bottle six uh, location, and I just couldn't get the benefit of the um, of the of the Dobsonian. Um, everything that I was trying to look at was just so washed out by the light pollution it's ridiculous so um i've been imaging with uh, with a uh, canon canon lenses and uh i recently well last year last october i bought a 72 edd um dp ds um skywatcher for my wide field shot so this this represents um 
the uh, the other side of the uh, the coin so this will get me closer in on galaxies and smaller objects in the sky which is what i'm really looking forward to uh, just to um, show you this is the um, the coma character um, which came with it you can you can see that oh there we go so that's the the coma corrector and this sits directly into the the drawer tube and it's locked in place um, I'm not going to I'm not going to screw those tightly because I don't like these I have a compression um, uh, fitting that can go on here which will be a darn sight better than the, the screws because it a it marks up everything I have, I have got around it before by putting a strip of tape around the um, the whatever's going in there um, on my on my Dobsonian um, which a holds it nice and tight but also protects it from the uh, the marks of the of the screws um, and that screws this screws directly onto the onto the coma corrector now this this is where you fit your camera directly. Um, so the um, the the uh, T2 um, ring for the uh, the Canon um, fits on, literally screws on there, and your camera screws onto it. So it's uh, you know it's literally it's what it's designed for. Uh, so that was the one box, which was the comb corrector, and the other thing that it came with is the um, a extension tube. Um, for uh, for imaging, uh, sorry for for, for um, visual use, uh, because obviously you need to extend the the the, the focuser to uh, reach focus. Uh, so that goes in in place of the coma corrector, and that also is a two inch to one and a quarter converter which sits in there. Um, or this can, in actual fact, sit straight into the into the focuser um, without the comb corrector, obviously. Um, but whether um, whether I can connect it, what I, what I have been doing um, is um, eyepiece projection on my Dobsonian and also on my 150, my old 150, um, so that I can use. Um, you can obviously um, connect the uh, Barlow lens directly here and then your camera into the Barlow lens or with eyepiece projection, um, a Barlow and an eyepiece to get closer in as long as you're not going over your maximum um, ma uh, magnification for the scope. Uh, it's a way of getting in closer to take pictures of um, the planets uh, but obviously it's not designed for planets it's a fast newtonian it's, it's designed for uh, deep sky imaging more so than um, than planetary um, i do intend to use it for some planetary and for lunar photography um, and it'll be absolutely sh fine at that i'm sure um, so that's the uh, the extension tube and the um the, the converter from two inch to one and a quarter. Also, you can see I've also put on, which it comes with the, um, I think it's a seven by 50. Um, it's not a seven by 50, not sure which one it is. I'll, I'll put that down there. Um, uh, find a scope and, um, and that's, that's everything that's included. Um, that's a, a little toolkit just to <laughs> get you on the go. Like I, I have enough of these. Uh, I, I've, I have um, from other bits and pieces that I've bought. I've got Allen keys, screwdrivers, and little spanners coming out of my ears. But um, always welcome to get more tools. Uh, so that's it. That's the Skywatcher Quattro 150P. And um, next video will be first light, which will probably be sometime in 2025. The way the skies are going. Uh, clear skies, everybody, and um, have fun.